has suffered a horrendous tragedy, a harm that has broken our hearts. Tonight on Let It Rip, the tragedy that has touched the nation, the deadly shootings in Newtown, Connecticut. They had their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings. As the country mourns a new debate on how to prevent massacres like this from happening again. And we're gonna have to come together and take meaningful action to prevent more tragedies like this, regardless of the politics. The only way we're gonna prevent that is with like force. You know, sitting around a campfire singing Kumbaya is not gonna do it. It's a complex problem with no easy solutions. And some believe it's more a mental health issue than just a gun issue. I don't think it's the guns. It's the person. Parents, teachers, rabbis, priests, coaches, everybody needs to step up. This has to be a time for change. We are stepping up tonight. Time to let it rip on the panel. Rick Hector, owner of Rick's Firearm Academy in Detroit, a man who believes in self-defense and who says the solution in some cases to gun violence is more guns, but in the hands of the right people. Next to him, the mayor of Southfield, who says the massacre in Newtown is deadly proof that the nation's current gun laws are too weak. Brenda Lawrence is here. And then there's attorney Neil Rockkind. He's handled thousands of criminal cases from domestic abuse to murder, nicknamed the Rockweiler. He's ready to rip tonight. And as always, there's the judge and jury of Fox 2, attorney Charlie Langton. Now, a little later, we'll discuss the mental health aspect of this complex issue with Lansing Mayor Verge Bonero and psychiatrist Gerald Shiner, and discuss new technology to possibly make guns safer. But right now, we begin with Rick Hector. And Rick, I trust you. I, I know that you are a responsible gun owner. Yes, sir. And one of these days, I'm going to take one of your classes. I'm waiting on it. It's been two years now. I'm going to do it. But in light of what happened in Newtown, yes, sir. In light why of do you believe that in some cases more guns make situations safer? Well, here's the thing. We are talking about a situation in which a clearly deranged individual who shot and killed his own mother, stole her guns, drove them in her car, which was also stolen, to a gun-free zone to attack innocent people. You know, a gun-free zone. A question I like to ask a lot of people, and I say this. I said, if you were a resident of Newtown, Connecticut, and your child was in that school, knowing that when the police got there and showed some op uh, opposing force to this guy who killed himself, would you want at least one person in that school to confront that individual? Would you want that? I have yet to find. I have. I have. I have. I have yet to find someone who will answer that. I'll question. answer that question. I just offered to answer it. I'll answer you're you're anti-gun. Would you want I'm someone there? I'm not anti. I'll answer it. Would you want someone I'm there? You could talk to me. I'm going to phrase the question. You phrase the question. Okay. the question. You said. Go ahead. If from someone from Newton, <clears throat> Connecticut, would they want someone, Newtown. one person, inside that school to confront the confront Adam? Uh, Lanza. Whatever. Adam Lanza. And the answer is that when you make that statement, you undervalue and you devalue the courage and the type of character that police officers bring in situations like that. Police officers are trained and they have an internal fiber to go a different way in the face of danger. They go towards danger. They don't run away from it. Okay. And you're asking, hold on, and if you're asking me, do I want, as people who are supposed to be there to educate my kids, do I want the art teacher? or the music director, or the phys ed teacher, to all of a sudden start putting on camel paint and pulling okay, out a gun not, from not their pocket. Neil, Neil, no, I don't, here's I don't the thing. Want I, will, I will address that. I don't here's want the thing. Neil, we don't have, we have a gun-free okay. zone. In a gun-free zone, there is no one there to provide opposition to this clearly deranged madman. Excuse me. I'm talking. Let you over talk me. Be quiet, please. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It took the police 10 minutes to get there. Now, you know what? Granted, they praised the police for getting there in 10 minutes, but 10 minutes, I'm telling you, when seconds count, you you know what, 10 minutes is way too long, and obviously there was clearly a loss of life. We need Neil. the plan to have someone there to oppose this madman. Brenda Lawrence. Hill, the, the, the debate right now is that, is America on the right track? We're talking about guns and more guns, and we're seeing more and more mass murders. We must understand that guns are not the answer. In my high schools, and in most of the high schools, there are armed police officers in our high schools. And they are there to keep order. 
the teachers are not there carrying guns. I do not support, do I think it will add any value to take a school teacher and arm her with a gun? Because I have had friends, and you have as well, been robbed and they had their gun on them. When you are not a trained police officer or someone who handles a gun on a regular basis, carrying a gun is not going to remedy here's, the situation. Here's the, here's the, here's the thing. It's not going to remedy the situation. Here's want, the thing. A lot of people in, like to project in their insecurities and their ability to defend themselves. You do not need to be on a SWAT team to be able to oppose some deranged person that's creating this you, imminent threat to safety. You, you, you don't have to be a commando. Are you no, you don't, you don't have you to be think a you're anti-gun you and you don't even own a gun. You think that. Right? You, you, think are that. you think that. Right? 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 Charlie I, Langton I, has the floor. I, I just wanna, are you saying that we should have first grade teachers should have It doesn't guns? have to be a first grade teacher. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying someone, someone in that class. If it's a first grade teacher okay. who has been trained how to use Reasonable gun control. If we had an armed guard like they do in Southfield, like many schools in Detroit have that, I think that's reasonable. That's fine. That's fine. That's not gun control. But, here, but, but here's, here's the thing. You're getting caught up on, 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 a, on a first grade teacher. I'm saying have someone in that school. In Newtown, Connecticut, there was nobody Charlie, there Charlie, to oppose this okay, man. Wait, 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 before we do it, let me tell you this. This is going on right now. In Harold, Texas, okay. they allow every teacher in the school, elementary, middle school, high school level, mm -hmm. to carry concealed weapons. They're considering the same kind of law in South Dakota, Missouri, okay. Oklahoma. The object is not to meet force with force. If somebody comes in with an assault weapon, no, they're not going to have an assault weapon, but there may be one person, a teacher, an aide, a janitor, somebody who can fire one bullet enough to stop or kill the threat. Can there I, you go. Hugh, can, can, can I say that? Hugh, I'm opposed to that. Me too. And, and it, and it, and it presupposes the so many... The status quo is unacceptable. I, I, I agree. Absolutely. Which means, which means, Absolutely. Which means that we need to start actually focusing on the things the that make things. people like Anna Lanza more dangerous and homicidal. Now on that, take away, I agree. Take away their AR-15s. Take uh, away in Connecticut, that. which was the... In Connecticut, which had the fifth toughest gun law in the country, Apparently an AR-15, military assault style rifle or gun, with a grenade launcher was legal. But could no, be here's, 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 here's the point that I want to get to. Here's the point I want to get to. Everyone wants those. to talk about what, what the crazy people do and the deranged people do, the mentally ill people do. We're talking about there should be no reason why a law-abiding citizen should not be able to exercise his right to keep him bare fire. You want to you take that. the actions of a mentally ill You want to take the actions of a madman and disarm a man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, time out. Don't put words in my mouth ever. So let me stop there. What is Second, what are you saying? Wait a second, people are allowed. I don't have a problem with certain people, with people possessing a, 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 a hunting rifle or a handgun in their home. I have no problem with that. The Hold second on. The amendment is bigger than explain. Hold, whoa, 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 stop. Explain to me. Explain to me why you think that the Second Amendment is somehow has no reservation and no limitation when the First Amendment does, when the Fourth Amendment does, when the Fifth Amendment does, when every other amendment that we hold dear has some limitation. Why do you people there think are, that the Second Amendment is everything? I won't even take offense. I'm going to respond to him. There are 20,000 gun laws. Let Rick respond. It's 20,000 gun laws on the books here. I don't care if there's another 20,000. Criminals will not obey. No, the law. The Can't get people to understand that. Okay, ways. Brenda, he, he makes an important point, though. But the toughest gun no laws will not keep guns out of the hands of criminals, will not stop and every instance guns of violence. In everyone's hand is not going to stop this madness that we have taken on in the United States. It, it's 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 gun gun owners if you put guns in everyone's hand, Charlie, we went through that in the Nobody said Wild put guns Second in everybody's hand. What, 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 what we're Amendment talking Amendment. about... You can have reasonable restrictions out of the Second Amendment. 20,000 We're talking, about, guns. Yes. We're talking yes. about having reasonable restrictions. For example, do we really need assault rifles in schools, for example? Here's the no. thing. What, what is can the Second Let's Charlie. Can we have guards in schools that have a gun to prevent, maybe, maybe prevent some deranged person from going into the school? Yes. yes, of course. That's what we need. That's yes. reasonable. Yes. That's totally but I'm not saying arm all the teachers. I didn't say uh, that, Charlie. Well, I shouldn't arm even. A, you shouldn't arm any teacher. I'm good. That's glad that you're not saying that. I don't want any teacher. I would like teacher. for you're someone armed in that school. If it's a teacher, fine. If a security guard, I, fine. Well, that's good. We all yeah, agree on that. He doesn't agree. That's okay. No, he hold on, no, 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 I didn't. I, I said if there's a police.
police officer. I told you this off the air in the green room. If there's a police officer, if the person is trained, if the person is actually skilled, if they have repeat training, if their actual the background has been tested so we know that they're stable, they have yearly mental health checkups so we know that they're actually stable, I would like someone like that in school, someone who's visible. What I don't want is what was proposed recently, and that is to have teachers who are there to educate my children to take on the added burden of somehow being right. Rambo-esque. You're, you're getting right. called right. 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 teachers. Right. I'm okay. saying, look, right. it was a gun-free zone, and no one was there to provide an opposing force to this madman. I could care less who the person is. As long as that are person you, is there, you, you and they are trained... But are you hinting that, that that madman went to a school because it was a gun-free exactly. zone? Exactly. Gun-free oh, zones, no, gun no, no, zones no, provide no, an easy... Target no, rich no, no. environment for low hanging fruit for a madman to rack up no, 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 a huge no, no, no. body no, no, no. count. No, no, no. This is where no, no, no. all of these events again. occur. That was personal. But, but when it, it, the, when we talk stop, about the, stop, stop. Right, right, Brenda, Brenda, Wait, Brenda, what do you say to Americans now who are running to the gun stores because this happened in a school in in Connecticut? and buying guns and just stocking them up, and I'm going to be safe now. Look at and this. that is a false reality. That, That's the a false, false reality. No, it's not a false reality. Here's this is what reality. You want to know why well, people yes. are going okay. to the gun range it's to buy guns? It's a false reality. Because when it's President Obama reality. had an opportunity to address the situation when a sitting member of Congress got shot, you know why this issue didn't come up? Why we didn't take advantage of this opportunity to address mental health? I'm dying Because he wanted to run for re-election and did not want to be labeled anti-gun. You know what? He got re-elected. He got re-elected, re you know and this, pre this presents yeah. his opportunity for there. his party that's to dance in the blood of the victims. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dance that's in the offensive. blood of the victims. That's, that's, that's what they're doing. Somebody would accuse the NRA of doing that very thing. They're exploiting this issue politically. Hugh, why, why, why would... Why maybe would, uh, there is consensus now. Maybe the country has too changed its mind. No, man, yeah. what, what, what's get, when, when, you got, when you got gun shops all over this country, people buying guns, no, I don't see the sense of the country it's changing. Fear. It's oh, the it's same. Not, I, I think it's the same people. Look at the gun sales. Are, all right. I have a look at We're the gun sales. Look, we are running out of time here for this segment. We will discuss that issue and more, including why people are buying guns look and the mental health issue as well. Look at that sheet. Panel, we appreciate your comments and your insights. It's not over. Much Thank more to you. come. Well, the debate, as you say, is raging. Some say that what we should really focus on, not just the guns, but mental health. More Let It Rip when we come back.